Ball Billiards. We've got a nine ball match for you. Uh, Avram versus Sean, both are skill level nines. Got a guest commentator in the booth, Cody Holmes. What's up? And APA nine ball. Um, if you hook yourself on the break, you don't have a look at the one. Too bad. There's no push out. Yep, no push out. Each ball is worth one point. The nine ball is worth two points. And they're both going to 75 points total. And these are two of the better players in Sacramento APA, so it should be a good one. Yeah, they don't suck. <laughs> Even won the lag. Yep, Sean and Red. Abram is breaking. Got a little jump on the cue ball, but looks like he lost it a bit. But nothing went in. Nothing went in, and Sean's left with a kick shot. These are the ones where it's tough to see from this angle. You don't know if he's got... Looks like he's looking down table off the short rail. It looks like he's going to have to spin it or something, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yep, yeah, spun it a little bit. Good contact, but left Avon pretty easy there. Avon come back for the two. Get the three. Looks like it passes the seven at the top. So it could see a little bit of a run out. Don't see too many issues. I don't see the four. I don't think the four go, goes past the uh, the nine, though. I think uh, yeah, if, if he's got an angle on the three, he could come back out four right. in the same pocket. Yeah. It's all going to be based on this shot here, how he gets on the three. Pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, a little far. <clears throat> These diamond tables, you can actually you can actually get in there behind the, I don't know what the real word for it is. I call them nipples. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the point. Yeah, with the deep shelves there. You yeah. can get snookered behind the point exactly that's the right way, way to say it oh, I must pass the nine hmm. checking to see if the five goes also looks tight Yeah, it's tough to know with Abram shooting. He does take his time on all of his shots, so if it's me taking this long, I probably don't have a shot. Yeah, right. <laughs> For him, he's like, he probably does. He's just yeah. taking his time, yeah. measuring it out. Yeah. Very meticulous player. Really good at controlling the cue ball. Oh, he did not. He went for the carom. What a shot. Right. The four did not pass. The nine. But he had the angle to carry on the nine. That was nice. Yeah, that was. Sean's probably stoked to be racking again. <laughs> Sean doesn't get much practice racking, so it's, yeah, this is an ex exciting experience for him, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. I absolutely hate racking at this pool hall. The balls are, they're all like mismatched and sometimes you get lucky and get a good set, but for the most part, it's like not fun. Yeah, we were very unlucky tonight. Chris and I played at this pool hall and we had on both tables on eight ball and nine ball, we had bad sets. You didn't have to experience the eight ball one, but it sucked too. Did it? Yeah. They were both mismatched balls. Yeah. Didn't rack tight. It's kind of, I mean, it's not that big of a problem if you have a magic rack, but a lot of people don't really want to use the magic rack, so it's like you're kind of stuck with just a 
house rack, you would you could call it. A real loose rack. Nice easy safe there. And gave it right back. Oh, yeah. He wants none of that. Nope. The nine must be tucked in there yeah. in a way where the two com two three combo doesn't play. I kinda like shooting the two ball behind yeah. the three. I do kind of the same thing. I don't know what he's doing. I mean maybe the I don't know. Because the nine is He's gonna, gonna go thin on on the two. Yeah. I mean the nine separates off the two there though. That's not bad. I think he's thinking if he gets ball in hand again, he wants a shot next time. Yeah. I think he could have been able to get a shot if he just shot it past the three. But I yeah. You're, I think you're right. Oh, no. Not really what you're looking for there. All right. Pretty uncharacteristic from Sean there. Yep. Pretty, um, that guy will point to a spot on the table and put the cue ball right there. Yeah. He, he knows the angles. Now, when I'm playing Avern, he's out from here. <laughs> yeah, same. You're just like, okay, put your cue down. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Watch him make all the balls. Yeah, just... I'm just drawing this back, yeah. middle of the table. He had a little bit of right spin on there, so mm -hmm. came back even further. It's okay. You can roll this up, play the seven in the top left corner. Not as great of a run up, but... It's an easy tap tap -a -roo. Wipes its feet on the way in. <laughs> I here I'm I mean in my mind I'm like I would love to just hit some draw on this. Have it come back come back towards me off the rail and spin off, come a little bit closer to the eight, but yeah. That's usually the shots that screw me. Looks like he's going top and cheating the pocket. I think he wanted to get a little more on that. I I would assume so, but it's not a bad angle. Nice, easy, yeah, tough English. I mean, these are seven-footers, shooters like this. They're pretty guaranteed to make this shot most, most of the time. I don't want to give him a commentator's curse here. Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy. I honestly didn't know if that went past that nine. I thought he was going to have to try to make that in that top right. Oh, yeah. All right. Abrams got complete control of this match so far. 15-0. 75 is a lot of balls. Yep. It's a long ways to go. If anyone watching this is familiar with lineup strategy in APA you might and a lot of times when we play either of these teams we'll we'll play a lower level against these guys so we usually play a two who needs 19 balls against one of these guys who needs 75 and hope that our two can get there or at least like get close yeah we can still get a few points you know mm -hmm. Yeah, two who needs 19. If they get 15 out of 19, yeah, they're getting our team a lot of points. Yeah. Where if Chris and I played, we would need to get to like 45 to get the same amount of points. Ooh. <clears throat> Oof. Just barely misses, but he had good speed on that to just... Yeah, I wonder if... It seemed like... He played it like that. Yeah. Oh my god. That was so good, but just I, I feel like he deserved to get safe there. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Instead, he left Abram a pretty easy shot on the one. Not too easy to get shape on the two, but 
I'm afraid to say that it looks like the two does not pass the four nine. Mm. No shot. He does a three ball combo here, right? That's what I'd do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, no, I mean, he might he might go pretty soft off the right side of the two. Get it over behind the four nine, and then roll the cue ball to yeah. the short rail on the yeah. right. Oh, he's shooting. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy peasy. Three ball combo. Wow. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Little cue ball toss from Sean. Yeah. Not stoked. You don't really want to get. You don't want Sean to get angry. No. My I realize that my yeah. strategy always against him. I want to keep him happy. Because <laughs> <laughs> when he gets, he just turns into a robot and dude, just makes everything. I will not see the ball for the rest of the match. Yeah, he'll just give you the evil eye real quick and then just. He's in his mind. He's like, "It's over for you." And then I'm like, yeah. In my mind, I'm like, "I know." <laughs> oh, all right. One in the side. Dresses up nicely for the two. That's the break I'd like to to figure out. Yeah. I'd like to learn how to make a ball on the break. Right. If you can, and that's the one you want. Like, the one typically when everyone's racking, it's tough. It can be tough to rack, but even the ones that are tougher to rack, they're going to be looking oh, rattled and scratched. Oh, wow. They're still going to be able to tie that one ball, have them frozen with the, the two balls that, it, that touches on the rack. Yeah. Now. So, if you can make that one ball on the side every time yeah that's ideal yeah it's the, oh no way god no way okay i don't think he's behind the point no i think i think he's got a shot here yeah that's like the break that they do in uh like the match room where they put the nine on the uh, nine on the spot yeah nine on the spot yep oh, oh. my god <laughs> Shot that with a ton of inside English, so a ton of right spin. Looked like just middle ball right, so he kind of stunned it across, but the right spin made it fly around the table. And that shot right there is why I love playing on these diamond seven foot tables. You can spin the ball yeah. all the way around the table. And nice easy save. Can Abram go off the rail into the four and then nine in the yeah, pocket it's... where the uh, key ball is? Well, judging from his decisions, yeah, yeah look at that. That's, that's what, what he's, he's going for. Up. I mean, he went the three ball combo on the nine. Like he's just getting the nine in. Yeah, he wants he wants the break. Yeah, he was going for it. <clears throat> it was just as tough as trying to line up any sort of safe right. off of yeah. that kick. So he might, might as well. Right. That's a nice, yeah. Just another safety. Oh my goodness, he's so good at that. You get those balls clumped up in the corner, then yeah, just put the cue over there. Yeah, he's so good at that. Yeah, that's exactly what I would do, but I probably would have stared at it for about thirty seconds first, and then yeah, and then there's for me, it's like a fifty-fifty chance if I hit it too hard and <laughs> breaks pop out. those balls out and. <laughs> And pop out and give him a straight in shot on the four. Yep. Yep. Sean's pretty. He's got his speed control down. Yeah. Which is wild because sometimes when he's, you know, his pre shot routine, he's like super fast and yeah. then he'll just baby it, just feather it perfect speed. Like it looks like he's going to smash it. Yeah. And then. He just hits it perfect. Like, we'll have to point that out if yeah. that happens again yeah. in this match. Yeah. yeah, we'll see him get down on a shot, do about four or five incredibly quick strokes, yeah, and then 
the stroke where he makes the shot is just always perfect. Mm, I think he was trying to get that a little further off the rail to try to... Maybe so, up closer to the 7? Yeah, kind of in between the 9 and the set. and the. Uh, I would have tried the same thing, though. I'm looking at, I was yeah. looking at it like, at that point, you want to try to take away take away a run here. Yeah, because <clears throat> yeah, that was such a good safety. It's like... Uh, yeah. Very hard to hit that ball. Got the angle to draw back out for the 7 9 combo. Oh, that's a 7. Even better. Get him. Ooh. Traveled a bit far. How are you hitting this? Are you putting in the bottom left corner with top? But I'm if I do that, I'm putting in the middle pocket. Oof. I'm at the cue ball. I would have scratched yeah. in the middle pocket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I probably would have hit that with a little low and tried to get the the eight ball in that top side pocket. Nice oh. easy stroke on the bank, I think. Yeah, just roll forward oh he's yeah oh my god wow barely missed that deep on the shelf dude yeah yeah it's one of those deep ones you don't have the option on this table to go rail first really yeah on that shot that sean just yeah. did it's so deep in there that you have to just go straight for the ball I mean, it's worse on the nine footers. Oh but yeah, it's definitely a thing on these two. It can, it can restrict your options on like moving the cue ball around right. the table yeah. from that shot. But I luckily, I don't even try anymore. I just I go center ball with some draw or something, yeah, you know, <laughs> or a little spin right and left and try to. Yeah. It worked out for Sean there. I mean, yeah. he just had to hit it. Yeah. The cue ball is naturally going to come out perfect for the eight. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter where the cue ball lands because he can make any shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See where Sean's breaking from. Your typical. From the side. His break speed is ridiculous. Yeah, he breaks them really hard. Still dry. I watched, I was watching him break, and I was like, I told him, I was like, dude, you hit him so hard. And he's like, that's like 50%. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? He does look very... <laughs> controlled. Yeah, very yeah. controlled with that. I, I, I would, would love, not be surprised yeah. if he could I would love to it. see him just... I want to see what his break looks like at full speed. Yeah. You know? That's a really good save. Just thin off the left side of the one, come two rails back into the group of balls. Yeah. <clears throat> Someone's in the way. I'm trying to see what options he has. I mean, you can go two rails at the one. So, yeah. Come off this bottom long rail and then the short rail on the left and maybe hit the one back into that group of balls, hopefully. That might be what I try here. That looks like what he's doing. Wow. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Mm, oh, it looks like he can see, see it. it. Yeah. yeah. That was really good, though. Pretty tough shot, though. Got the one. I mean, the six seven's not in a pretty spot. I don't know really how he gets a good shot on the two after this. Yeah. I mean, I would. I'm just trying to. I probably hit this with some top left. Try to come off the short rail. I have the cue ball come two rails around and then go in between. Like the nine three. I'd go in between the two and the rail. Try to get... Oh. Well, I was almost... Wow. Jesus. If that was intentional, I'm assuming it was. I don't know. That was really good. Yeah. Hmm. 
It looks like he's. Oh wow! Did Dude, he jump that? I don't know. I think he jumped it. <clears throat> the cue ball definitely jumped at some point. I don't yeah. know if it was from yeah the hard impact on the object ball or. I mean, he was elevated and he uses a hard tip, so it's it's capable. Oh, he uh -oh. was trying to he he was trying to get behind there. Those are tough, really touchy shots. All right. One in the corner. You don't think he's comboing? No. no. Yeah, he's got he's got the draw stroke to get back onto the three. Yeah. Oh, wow, he that came off really weird off that the short rail. Yeah. Can you see? I don't know if it was, maybe it was a spin he had on it or yeah. it seemed to straighten out off the yeah. short rail. He did the hand flip. He's not stepped on it. Oh, that sits. Oh, just barely leaked out. That was a great, great try at the safety there. Bank shot, or is he playing safe? Maybe a two. Ooh, kind of a two way. Yeah. A shape T. <laughs> shape T, yeah. Yeah, he's getting shape on the next ball. And a shape T. Shape T. <laughs> yeah, a shape T. You take the P or the F. Right. Shape T. Oh, he jumped that. Oh my God, that was scratched. a definite jump. Yeah. So he's nice. You got the hard tip on the cue. So he, any APA rules, you can jump, but only with your playing cue. Sean plays with the hard tip. In situations like that, he had to call him quarter ball jumps. So yeah, he had to jump yeah. over just a quarter of the right side of the four ball and a quarter of the left side of the nine ball. So in that situation, you can do it with success, but yeah. you won't see him try to jump a full ball. What's he gonna do here with the six seven? Gonna try to get underneath it? No. Or is he trying to run into it? He could carry him off the six probably. Oh, into the seven. Yeah. Yeah. Make the seven. At this, actually, yeah. Yeah, he's walking. definitely gonna be it because he can roll forward. He's and... asking for a watch, so that's what he's trying to do. Six ball should sit nice on the on the short rail, and then he could play the six in the bottom right corner afterwards. Got a guest appearance myself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, that mid torso looks familiar. Oh, Good that's shot. kind of hard. He's pretty good at cutting these into the side pocket. Yeah. That's probably what I would go for. That's it's a nice shot cutting this into the side because, and if you want to, if you miss, you want to miss short. It ends up being a natural two way shot. Mm -hmm. Six can, if you miss, comes down on the short rail on the left side of the table, and the cue ball comes and rests on the short rail on the right side of the table. If you make it, you give yourself a long eight, but still very makeable. That's how I would play it at mm -hmm. least. You also could bank it. I don't like that. Yeah. No. Sean can see it. Yeah, I wouldn't feel safe if I was playing him right now. <laughs> oh. That's on. That's unlike him. Yeah. Very strange. He. Is he, is he just frustrated, or? But even for him, I think that was pretty quick. Pretty quick shot. He, yeah. got, he didn't take. Any Maybe time. he takes an extra second. Yeah. He makes that every time. Yeah. Pretty routine little run out here. Yeah. I'm playing this with top, coming back down.
Cool. Nice. Cool. All right. And there's the key ball toss. <laughs> oh. 28 11. <clears throat> Sean is just. Can't wait for just a open shot at the one ball. Yeah, he just needs a good one good rack to kind of settle in. Really get warm. Yeah. He hasn't really had any easy run outs. Yeah. But he really only needs six breaking runs and he's. And he wins, so. Whoa. Oh. Could be an issue with the rack. They're going to re-rack that probably, maybe. Yeah. Crappy balls. I was thinking about it, you know, I mean, it'd be really nice if you... The owner of this place got some nice sets of balls, but at the same time, the area it's in, it's like, you know, one could get stolen and then, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, So I've talked to him about those sets of balls. I usually, I didn't really want to talk to him about it, but yeah, I was bringing the set up to the counter to swap it out for another and he happened to be at the counter. So he was like, oh, like confused about it. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you know, a couple of these balls are are smaller than the other ones, so I was just hoping to swap for another set. Um, and then uh, he was like, yeah, you know, people have come and just stole the eight ball, stole the one ball. So you, they, yeah. Yeah, they just come in and they leave with the ball. And mm. Not too many checks and balances there either. Yeah. And then, I mean, if that happens, you kind of got to replace it with a ball from the same set. You can't, you know what I mean? Right. Like I honestly didn't know they made pool balls of different sizes like that. I was pretty yeah. confused. I was like, "All right." I'm guessing he's playing safe here. Yeah. Can't see. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't look like the two could get by the four like that to me, but. You see that that's that's the shot for sure i think you can kind of see it i think between the three and the nine the or seven. seven and the nine <laughs> i know which one they are it's just the color <laughs> it was also true it is between the three and the nine as well but yes Guessing you can't see it. Yeah. But I do like to see him taking his time a little bit more. This is good. The eight is, I don't know, it's making him think twice about kicking off the long rail, the bottom long rail there. He's just so he's falling. Gonna, yeah, he's fouling, getting the four-up table on the short rail. Make the run out a little bit tougher. I don't know if the three really... Well, what pocket does the three have other than that um, down table? Yeah, bottom left corner. Unless he's like... I don't know. The angle he has on this is kind of... Looks like he's going to come back out to the middle of the table. Yeah. Which he might. Uh, oh, he was. That's oh, interesting. Lord. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <clears throat> he definitely wanted to hit the three out. Yeah, that's what he was trying that's, to do. Yeah, he's, sure. he's not going to make that much mistake. He just didn't want to hit it at that angle. Yeah.
Like it's going to be like a Z bank. Yeah, just a zipper shot here. Oh. oh, that was a pretty good try. Really good try. That's a guessing shot for me if I ever try it. Yeah. You just got to channel your <clears throat> inner Efren. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to say if Sean can't get in between the three and the four and put the three in the bottom left corner, then he might play safe here. Let's hide the cue right behind the four. Oh, he's going in. Ooh, thank you, five ball. Oh, yeah. Big pocket. He looks pretty straight on this. It's going to be t scratching his head. How am I going to get down to the crap out of it? Oh, my God. <laughs> the amount of times I tried that tonight and it did not work out like that. He just had so much left spin in that. Yeah. That thing just zipped off the rail. Safety. Ooh, a little hard. Oh, yeah. The eight kind of nicked him out. He's had quite a few safeties like that kind of leak out in this match so far. Yeah, he has. Those are the difference makers. I mean, against when you're playing against a nine, sure, like in lower level matches, this would still be considered a good safety if you're putting yeah right somebody exactly, in a situation yeah. to bank. But ideally, you don't want them to be able to see the ball at all. Yeah, because they'll just hide it. Hide it again. It's gonna leak out a little bit. Key ball go up far enough. It's containing. Sean's not going to try to make this. No. Do the same shot again and he won't. Oh, five ball hits off the nine. Yeah, he wanted that to miss the nine and just kind of bury beneath the eight. If the five gets by the nine, this is a nasty, nasty yeah. save. Yeah. So we're going to have a safety battle here, or is he cutting that in the top right corner? That's probably what I would try. It looks like he's going off the right side, so... Another safe here. Ooh. Really good speed control. If he's tucked behind the eight enough, then. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough shot to execute. Full speed. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be nice, too. Wow. A lot of safeties. I just I would like to think that he was going for the three rail into the side, but I don't know. Yeah. That was probably safe, but we might have to ask him. Yeah. Cause that was really close to going in. Yeah. That was a sweet shot. Yeah, I mean, I really, uh, I really would have expected one of them to get a break and run already. To be honest with you. Yeah. Wow. Whoever gets a shot on the five ball gets this rack. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> he, he might be able to see the five above the seven there, but I don't know what good it can do. I mean, maybe try to carry him the six into the side, or he might like if he could see the the right side of the five from our point of view, the right side to do pretty much the same shot Sean just did. Yeah. I don't know if he can. Yeah, I think the seven might be cutting that off. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's he's looking to bank the five into the six, put the six on the side, the top side pocket. Looks like he's lining that up. Hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> that was assuming two way considering yeah where he left the where he left the cue ball oh my lord jeez I mean, he went, he went for that, right? Or, I mean, it seemed like yeah, it had he did. some. I think he did. Because that had some speed. Like if he yeah. was trying to have the cue ball come back and rest on the short rail on the right tail, yeah. he would hit it a bit softer. Shot. Looks pretty simple from here. <clears throat> hmm. That's nice. Yep. A little bit of right spin on there to spin it towards the eight. Does he go forward here? Or no, he he's, go he's drawing it. He's. It's so, it, it's so tough to tell with Abram. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he cues he cues high up on the cue ball, no matter what shot he's gonna do. And then when he does his stroke, that's when he follows through with the English that he wants. And he usually does the perfect English. Yeah. So I'm not really yeah. sure how that works. But yeah. it's years and years and years of practice for him and that's yeah. that's just his stroke. Yeah. But um yeah, when I'm when I play against him and I'm trying to see like, oh, I wonder what he's doing here, and like, you really know. you don't know until he hits <laughs> <Yeah>. it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I feel like you can kind of tell when he's hitting high because he will be above center, but then when he hits a draw, I feel like it's more near the center of he's the queuing queuing center ball. Yeah, yeah, center ball shot. He's queuing high as well. I don't Maybe, know. Maybe yeah. No, center ball. He's probably queuing center ball. I don't know. That was really good cue ball control on this break, but just didn't look again, like they were racked very tight. Again, with these balls, they're they're definitely an issue, and it's gonna big, play a big part in whether or not these guys are gonna be able to get a break and run. Yeah, it's, for sure. It's just gonna be it's the set of balls, and if they're gonna allow them to get a good break, because both these guys are massive breakers. Yeah. Give himself a tough floor ball here. Yeah, he's out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm playing this with top ones, letting it drift down to the bottom right corner. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. You can't believe it. I can't believe it. Me neither. Two rail out here. Wow. Oh my goodness. He's getting some very unfortunate rolls this match. Yeah. 35 19. He's going to need the pool gods to uh, switch over to his side yeah. here pretty soon. Hmm. Oh, that's got to go. Wow. Oh. Under hit that a little bit. But you do bank this into the bottom side pocket? or it's all day. I do too. I, These I mean, guys probably may not go in, but hide the cue ball behind the eight or do something crazy oh oh scratch wow this is that crazy if that didn't scratch that would have been a pretty nice shot right yeah i actually do like that play i think that's something i should consider more yeah if that that's one of those banks where if it comes up short it's automatically safe mm -hmm. it comes and rests on the on the short rail Okay, looks like we're gonna get to see Sean break again. It's been a few racks. Did he break the last one? No, Abram just oh, broke okay. this one. Hopefully, we get 
see some balls made on the break. That'd be yeah, right. Be nice. At some point, I wonder if these guys will consider putting a little bit of top spin on it, and like having the cue. I feel like whenever I break with top and the cue ball ends up on the long, close to the short rail, on the right side is when I don't make a ball and my opponent can't see the one. <laughs> Damn, there's only six balls left. That's a massive break. Three balls on the break. Safety all day here. Get by the seven. Nice. Yeah, they just don't, you know, if there's any any sort of safe, like on a hard shot like that, they just take it. They, they're rarely going for the hero shot. You know? Right. They're also really good at playing to their opponent. So yeah. you'll... Yeah. Wow. Did he jump that? He, it looks like he did jump that. He didn't have to get over much of the yeah. seven ball. This is going all the way around the table. Oh, a little soft. Get there. Oh, of course. It's going to be great. Wow. So Perfect. good. It's right where he wanted it. He didn't want to get straight on it. You going left here? I'm going right. Top right. Oh, he's going oh safe. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like why, that, like you know. That's I, why we are not nines. I, right? Yeah, I would have tried to use some spin to try to get down there to the, get to the four. Yep, I would have. Yeah, I would use some and inside. Sean's like, watch this. <laughs> Sounds like I want an easier shot next oh, turn. Yeah. I think Abram hit probably hits this. I don't know oh, if he yeah. makes it, yeah, but for sure. Look at look at him calculating. He's got numbers going through his head. It looks like he's. Counting diamonds. This is yeah. what I do yeah. mostly. If I see the cue ball and the object ball the same distance away from the rail, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he's using trigonometry and <laughs> cosine physics and stuff. You know? Oh, he's making it. Oh, wow. oh my gosh! Yeah. So the little math will get you, folks. I, I basically I count the diamonds like that's the spot. Close my eyes and hit it. Yeah, Hope goes in nice. every time. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. My eyes are closed. Yeah. And there's really no way, Ooh, there's no way thought... to tell if you made it if your eyes are closed. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? exactly. I mean, I guess you could hear the ball hit the back of the pocket, but... A little cue ball speed issue on, this shot, yeah. on that shot. Yeah. Sometimes the ball just does not stop rolling on these tables. Ooh. Left them a tough one. Yep. I thought that was going to scratch for a second. And he's down on the shot real quick. He knows exactly what he's oh doing. Oh, no my way. God, dude. Oh, I would love to watch that again. How did that? He, he jacked up on it. He must have had some sort of top spin. Yeah. Definitely. He had some top on the cue ball for sure. And it hopped, I think, and then yeah. spun into the side. Wow. Beautiful bank, unfortunate roll. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he didn't. The cue ball was. Was a cue ball up against the rail when he shot that That's shot? Pretty close, I think. Yeah, I think so. Didn't really have like much space, if any at all, to do low or hit middle ball or anything on that cross bank. All right, Sean made three in his last break. See if Abram can get get a ball in here. Maybe that one on the side. There yep. it goes. <clears throat> a couple made a pair paired them up 
the one and the three are down. Because yeah. that is the seven ball. Sure is. Up by the corner, not the three. The maroon. Carlo Rossi colored one. Ooh. Yeah. Intrusive thoughts. I mean, I'm looking at the the tangent line off the two, and I'm looking at that nine into the bottom right corner. Right. <laughs> like, why not? Like, why not play this with a little top run into the nine? The nine should stop the cue ball. Whoa. Huh. I'm not sure what happened there. If it was a, a miss or if he was going for something else. No, I would hit that six and the, the four ball would nick off and leave. Oh, man. I'd leave my opponent straight in on the four ball. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Oh! Oh, my God. So lucky. But... He was pretty much over it. He was yeah. ready to go back to his seat. And he's not going to get as lucky in that one. A little frustration there. Or maybe a lot. Yeah, I would say a lot. <laughs> Knowing Sean and uh, how consistently phenomenal of a player he is. He's probably pretty frustrated with him with himself at this point, I would assume. So this is gonna be on Avram to take advantage here. Yeah. Yep. He's not frustrated like, at all. Get that rack out of here. We're done. On to the next. Fresh start, Sean. Yeah. So I've been trying to, a couple different breaks. <clears throat> Do tell. Well, I've been breaking from, I like line up from the one of the first, like either of the the first diamond along the short rail, mm -hmm. draw a line from the first diamond all the way to the one ball, put oh, okay. my cue ball along that line and oh, just okay. smack the crap out of it. Okay. It's working? It was working until this week, okay. until tonight, but we also had one of those bad sets of balls, yeah. so every rack was different. Yeah. Gaps all over the place. Right. Dry break from Abram and see if Sean can get on a roll here. Don't know if you wanted to be on that side of the two. But looks like if the nine goes by the five. Probably some got some badass safety in mind. Yeah, the cue ball at least. You can at least go off the left side of the two and maybe get that the cue ball snug up there against the five. Yeah. That would be kind of nasty. That's just what I see. What You see something better than I do almost every time. Me? No, Sean. Oh. Sometimes like you. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you. Yeah, Someone's he's going off the left side. Oh. Trying. Yep. The frustration continues. Yeah, I don't know if we got too much of the two there. Or what. Just didn't quite play out how we planned. Four balls in kind of a weird spot. That's true. At this rate, he's pretty much got to play for it to go in the bottom right corner. I hate shooting a, sh a ball down the rail when it's got to pass the side pocket. One of my least favorite shots. Wow. Look at that. Break it Dude. out a little bit. Oh, oh man. 
Didn't quite get enough, I don't think. He's definitely going for that, though. Going for that breakout there. Yeah, that's a nice play. <clears throat> I don't know if he's seen he can get enough of the four to get it behind the seven. Yeah, wow, perfect. Wow, that was really good. Okay, so here's a little insight here. I watched this shot. Did you see it hit the seven? Oh. So Avram asked him, did that hit the seven? And Sean said no. And so he, uh, Sean didn't see it, obviously. Yeah. But watching it on the camera, like you could rewatch this afterwards. It I hit did, the seven first. It, yeah, it did. But move it was a little. just, I mean, just barely. Sean's always. Yeah, he's super honest. Absolutely. Always he, honest. So he just it. didn't see it. Yeah. But it was. It rocked. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I was mostly watching the four. In the corner yeah. of my eye, I, th I thought I saw the seven rock a yeah. little bit. But my eyes play tricks on me all the time. Yeah, because when I was editing this, I, I wanted to see, you know. Right. And I, I think I even zoomed in on it, and it definitely hit the seven first. But yeah, it happens. We'll play on. This is just your friendly weekly APA match. There's no refs watching or anything. <laughs> yeah. well, we just try to try to be as good. honest as we can. And uh, just like how they did, they just played on. and Wow. Nice safety battle going on. Yeah. Here. Sean's seeing if it's frozen. If it's frozen, he's in a tough spot. He's going to have to either try to make it you know yeah you might as well because you're gonna have to hit it hard enough yeah. to ensure that another ball is gonna hit a rail right. so he... oh, we're not gonna be able to see this one yeah i'm like oh he made it wow sitting here on the couch and i was leaning as far as i could to the right and i still <laughs> couldn't see trying to see around the screen <laughs> trying to Get by, get your head around Abram to see I the ball. I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't see around him at all. I don't know if you guys could. Yeah. <laughs> you can lean further than me. Uh, is he jumping? Is it? Yeah, he was. No way. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen. I don't. I haven't seen really either of these guys jump and too often. They're doing it like constantly. This is my. That might have been like the fourth jump. Yeah. It's crazy. Pulling out all the stops on each right. other. All right. Here he's he comes. So, he's so good at those cuts. Yeah. Killing the cue ball off the rail. Yeah. That shot is just perfect. And he makes it look effortless. It's probably yeah. pretty straight on this. Yeah, this rack is over. Yeah. He couldn't do anything with the cue ball there, but he didn't really need to. Probably put the nine in the same pocket as the eight here, bottom right. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Gaining some traction now. Yep. It was a good out. A couple really good safeties from Sean. I think it was a good rack for Sean, and Abram had that just that really nice kick ball kick on the five ball. Yeah, that was disgusting. I wonder Wish if we could have seen I it. I wonder if it was frozen. Do you think that's why he did that? I think so. I think it was frozen. You could kind of see what Sean checked it, and he did a little yeah. gesture like it's the frozen the frozen yeah face. That's that's the gesture I would get. I would I would do if I. What a break. Yeah. That was really nice. This is open. I mean... This has break and run written most, all over it. I... Yeah. If I were a betting man, which I'm known to be, <laughs> I'd put some money on him getting out here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Nice middle ball shot here. Four in the side. Roll it for the five. 
and six, seven, nine, all in the same corner, probably. I guess we'll draw back a little bit here. <clears throat> Great touch. Honestly, I think he's got a weird angle over here. He might go the seven in this bottom right. Yeah, yeah. he got straight on the six. Okay. He drew it out into the middle of the pocket, in the middle of the table. Yeah, it's easier this way, honestly. I would have made it way more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Break and run for Sean. Break and run. Break and run. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> Dang, serious editing. Yeah, I mean, Sean's so good, it's like, he could just run out the set from here. He's definitely capable of that. Yeah. I've also seen him make four nine on the snaps in a row yeah but it is kind of like you know like right here like sure he could probably get out you know you could probably cut that one ball but is he going to no definitely not he plays safest on this every time which is why he wins yeah i mean if he cuts the one the two or the three down by the seven not pretty no, he's smart. He's he makes most, if not all, people would agree that he makes pretty good decisions mm -hmm. on each shot. Yeah, the score definitely tightened up after that breaking run. Yep. Ooh. One rail is spinning. Oh. It's good speed. Mm. Popped out enough, yeah. I think. Sean can see it, but it's whether or not he can put enough right spin on it to go it over to the three ball. Yeah, he's so freaking good at those, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not what I would do successfully, but yeah. he will. Yeah, and I think he just rolls this, gets the seven forward. That eight's kind of in the way to get that cue ball kind of going where you want. Yeah, please. Oh, wow. Does he get by? Oh, man. No. I didn't even, I, I don't know how he did that. Probably going to see a little safety here of some sort. Maybe he cuts it, but probably not. Yeah, perfect. Use the nine ball. On the God. Side. So good. That's really good safe in his mind. Probably not what he wanted. Yeah, he I mean, probably he... wanted the, the cue ball behind the eight. Yep. Yeah. He wanted both. Yeah. He's, he's going back to his seat like, damn it. That was a really good hit. Yeah. These guys with, with that much experience, they both are so comfortable with the cues that they play with. Yeah. I mean, they could do a full table, extreme left spin yeah. shot like that and with perfect aim. They got the deflection memorized. Sean plays with a, a low deflection shaft. And... Uh, but he's just got it. He's got it memorized. Oh, wow. I missed that. Oh, no. I didn't even check. I literally didn't even look over you're there. Like, I oh, you're just looking at the next ball. Yeah. yeah you're like, like now what is he going to do? Yeah. Yeah, Rashawn tried to, tried to shoot a trick shot with one of my cues one time. and He's like, 
Where's he, a wood key? He couldn't do it. Yeah, it was, he could not get the. It was in, he needed to swerve the cue ball a bit for this yeah. trick shot, and he he was like, "I need a low deflection shaft." He's like, had a better chance of doing it with a wood a, a bar cue, yeah. yeah, than mine. Yeah, definitely wood shaft for him. Probably won't ever see him play with the carbon fiber. No. I mean, he breaks with it sometimes. I think he's using Nick's break cue. Yeah. But, I mean, he had, I've seen him break just like a monster break with just his playing cue. He most of the time, he uses just his playing, too, playing cue, yeah. Yeah. Easy out here for Abram after that unfortunate miss on the six ball. Nice. Hustling. It's a tight one, though. Abram's got a six-point lead. Both three-quarters of the way there. We'll see who finished strong. Yeah, Sean plays with a Sean. What? Sean plays with a Sean Q. A Sean Q? Yeah, it's spelled S H O N. Oh wow. Yeah. I asked him one time, I was like, What what Q do you play with? He's like, Sean. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> do you think that's why he bought it originally? Maybe. <laughs> they are good Qs though, yeah. from what I hear. You know, there's a few people I know who play with a Sean. I would assume, yeah. But it just, you know. If your He's name like, was Sean, why would you not play with a Sean? Saw it at Big Five for 25 bucks and it said Sean, had to get it. Yeah. No, I'm sure it's a great cue. They're expensive. <clears throat> if anybody anybody watching plays with a Sean cue, let us know in the comments if you like it or not. Maybe we should go hit some... Some Sean's. Some Sean's, yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of wanting to get, uh, I, I, there's a few people, I think, at Diamond that have them. They're uh, little Al Romero's cues, oh, but yeah. he takes a Dufferin house cue, you know, with the maple leaf in the bottom. Oh, yeah. And he chops them off and turns them into two-piece cues. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. I kind of want something about just the house cue feel, you know? Yeah. Maybe not the top half of it, but right. <laughs> like, I'm not not a fan of the taper on a house cue. Oh wow, that was just a miss. Yeah, he he had to use a lot of top right spin inside English. You know that's gonna that's gonna affect your aim there. Mm -hmm. So. There's just a lot of small details in that shot. A lot of ways to miss it. Oh, he fired that. And that's going... Oh. I don't know if he's that safe. Tough to tell. I mean, if, if Abram can't see the two directly... Between the four and the eight, he probably can get to the short rail, mm -hmm. come back at the two. And if that's what you're going for, then where are you where are you trying to make the two ball end up? I mean, if you're trying to kick the two back into this group of balls and hope it doesn't leave a shot, oh, he's. You gonna bank it? Yeah, it looks like you probably can see it. Maybe he's cutting it. Maybe you can see the cut. Oh, he's oh, yeah. putting the key law back down in the same spot. Wow, really that, good shot. That was really badass. Once you understand that two rail angle there. Yeah. Yeah. Playing those safeties off a ball that's close up to the short rail. Whoa. Get a lot easier. You see that? Do you think he's playing off the nipple? I don't know. Maybe. He, he had to have been. Well, the two rail... 
I think the two rail that if he would have just hit just past that middle mm-hmm. pocket, then he would have come two rail, maybe three, and and hit that two ball. So I think maybe that's what he's going for. I doubt he was gonna try to play it off the nipple or off the point. <laughs> Sorry for all the nipple. That's just what I've always called him. Yeah. Little nip slip there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And a combo on the nine. That's all he really had was to you know get yeah. down there for the nine. No ball. option there. Yeah. You get most of the time these guys are gonna run balls before they try to combo the nine, yeah. but because Again, this is not real nine ball. Yeah. It's the only significance points. of the nine is it's, you get to break again. You get to break again, and you got two points instead of one. Yeah. All right. Abram kind of pulled away there again. <clears throat> Abram needs 13. Sean needs 24. Getting down to the wire. God. Those balls just did not break. They are, yeah, that looked weird. I feel like every single time I go there, it's getting harder and harder to rack. <clears throat> right? Every time. Like, like, it was, like week to week. Where is he kidding? Oh my gosh. That's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally thinking he's gonna load up with some bottom left and yeah. drill yeah. the one in, and maybe it just makes it look way easier. Maybe it didn't go by the seven. Yeah. Or I mean, it wasn't even worth looking at it. He was like, "Yeah, I'll just do this." But how do you see, how do you look at that <laughs> and see like that's an easy save? Yeah. Easier than a shot that he yeah. would make a hundred yeah. times out of a yeah. hundred. Yeah. For him, I mean, I don't know. I would. I'd yeah. be staring at the table for a while I before know. I see that. Right. Good hit. Oh, really good. Is he cutting this into the side? I think so. Nope. No nope. safety. Safe. Oh, he oh, out. Snuck out of there. Yeah, he just he's just trying to hide that cue ball. He doesn't want Abram getting a single shot. Abram's been pretty successful at getting out of Sean's safety. Right. So I'm curious if Sean's really just trying to get the ball in hand or or if he really is just not seeing the easy shot and he's seeing the if he's seeing an easier defense than a shot, of course take the defense. Ton of draw on that shot. Man, I wish I had that stroke. And another safety here. Nice and easy one. I think he can see it. You think so? Mm hmm. You can tell by Sean's demeanor. Oh, there. right, yeah. It's all a little cue swing. Yeah. You think he creeps right by the four and can get the right side of the two? I think so. We got to get you some aerial. Aerial footage. I know. A light mounted camera. Something like that. It's mounted on the pool light. Yeah. If anyone's got suggestions, let us know. That don't cost thousands of dollars. Yeah, cheap suggestions. Cheap suggestions. Indeed. Which duct tape to use? Yeah. <laughs> T Rex or uh, Gorilla? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, I think he can get this in the side without scratching. Yeah. <clears throat> Just depend. Now the question is, is he going to be aggressive about this? Is he going to try to... Is he trying to go in the corner? I don't know what he's trying to do. He planted his hand there. I think he's trying to go for the corner. Trying to draw it yeah. back enough to... That's pretty far ahead. Because he's looking at 
where he put his hand was trying to, you know. Yeah. I think that's where he wanted the cue ball. Because if he got the cue ball there, he would have an easy shot on the three. Right. Where if That he, would be nice. If he cuts it, he's going to have to do something weird. He doesn't know what he wants to do. I'm... Yep. Oh, my. Wow. That was really good. I probably would have done that, too, if I was at the table. Yeah. Didn't look possible from this angle. Yeah. <laughs> if I'd done that, I meant tried it. I would have yeah. tried it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, this is what I'm saying. I, I'm, I preach this all the time, but I need to do it as well. It's just keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. I know. I find myself trying to do too much. I'm like, what I'm, the hell are you doing? I'm drawing that three. I'm like, yeah. I'm right. having. I'm trying to put the four in the same top left corner. Yeah. I don't know why. It just looks yeah. cool when you do it. That was really nice. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh. It's fun to hit things hard. It is. It's satisfying when it works too. But I guess winning's nice. So if Abram makes all of these, he'll be at 71. Well, another watch. Maybe you should think about your camera angle when you do watches. <laughs> yeah. True. I didn't want there to be any uh, camera evidence if I got it wrong. Though, right. You know? Trying to hide the evidence. That's more stressful than doing a watch, right? Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Wish I could have seen how he made the, the cue ball and the nine ball just creep up together. Like yeah. That. So obviously That's, the five did that not. That idiot was in the way. We couldn't <laughs> see. <laughs> Mr. Moneyball himself. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Nice. That was so good. The speed was so good on that. You think he's, I don't know where he's putting this. I mean, I guess it goes in there. He's just playing safe. Oh, man. It's surprising, you know? Yeah. I thought he was going to go side pocket, just pop off the rail a little bit, and just take a steep cut on that seven. Well, that's what, it looked a bit awkward to me because, you know, you never, you don't really want to put too much power and a side pocket right. shot at that angle. Yeah. So it was going to be a, a bit tough for him to see the cut on the seven mm -hmm. if he made the six on the yeah. side. So maybe he thought doing this safe would be better. And if he would have made the six, playing safe on the seven was going to be tough with only two ball, other balls on the table. Oh, yeah. Nope. Came up short. Hmm. We're going to see uh, a power draw here. I think you did that uh, that bank to just have shape on the seven afterwards. I think so too, because I think that was cuttable. Yeah, I definitely agree. If everyone would have cut that ball, the cue ball, he was gonna lose the cue yeah. ball. A really good draw stroke from Sean, and he's straight in. A lot of people are gonna have issues with this nine ball. I think he'll probably get down and shoot it pretty quick like he usually does. Oh, it's nice when you get straight. Yeah. He had a ton of left spin on that yeah, shot. Yeah, he did. Nice. Wow. All right. He's keeping it close. Yep, made up some ground there. He's going to have to hold Aaron to less than 10 balls. Which is not easy. Not easy to do for anyone. And Sean needs 17. No. Yes. 18. 17. 17. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we can count. I can count. It's not at 2 a.m. We, we don't 
count any numbers past 21. Right. It's just too many after that. <laughs> Added context. We are both blackjack dealers. Yeah. When someone asks me, what is that? I, I just say, I don't know, too many. It's a bust. Is, that's yeah. what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Sean needs a bust amount of balls. Yeah. Well, he's at soft 17 right now, so he's got to hit. <laughs> he tried just the one rail kick there on the one. Yeah. Came up short and got the nine. And this he is... must have been trying to make it on the side. The safer bet would have been to go two rails and come in behind the one. But he would have, oh, well, he also would have had to hit that pretty hard to get a rail afterwards. I don't know. He probably did the right decision, of course. Huh. That's a little weird angle on this three. Yeah, I don't know. This is yeah. a drawback. Yeah. Drawback, take the four to the bottom right corner. And then now it's about, can you navigate this mess? So he's probably thinking if he can get past the seven... The key well is going to go up towards the top right pocket. So if it gets past the seven with a little right spin, it might come two rails. I'm trying to run into the seven here flush and just have the, the seven That'd stop be good the key too. Ball. That'd be good too. Probably hitting a little bit of a, a little low then. Oh, yeah. Oh. I might try to pop it. Oh, yeah. He's, wow. He's just says forget the four let's make the seven yeah if i did that the four would probably be up in the middle of the short rail on the left side mm -hmm. leaving me with nothing yeah naturally naturally can you all get away from him a little bit here oh, oh. no he can see it I doubt that's what his plan was. Yeah, but. he was trying to get on the other side of the six. Well, he only needs five. Yeah. I think he's put this in the bottom left corner here. Let the cue ball run its course. Oh. Rattled it. Mm -hmm. Five left. All of his points are on the table. So Sean's going to take a few of them if not all of them here well, my <clears throat> bet is all of them you think he draws back out to the middle table or takes the eight to the middle so he's can... gone he goes side pocket so you think he rolls forward here yeah. eight in the side okay so again i would have overcomplicated this right me too Even gives him the nine. The battle becomes closer. Sign of respect there. Also saves about 15 seconds. Right. <laughs> the time saver. I do that a lot playing against higher level players. If I rattle the nine, leave an easy shot on the nine or something like that, then... Rather than go sit back down to my chair, yeah. make them walk up to the table, shoot it, me get back up to go up and rack the balls, I save myself the hassle. Mm. And the players usually thank me, but I'm really doing it for me. <laughs> okay. This well, this is, this is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't have to do much with the one ball yeah. to get it back out to the middle of the table to see the two. Yeah. This looks like a really good spread. It sure does. Again, I would bet on him running this out. Last time I said that, he got a break and roll. Yeah. We got to see the cool graphic. 
Yeah, let's see that again. Come on, Sean. Come on, for the graphics. For the graphic. Beautiful. Spin out for the six on the side. Ooh. That was really good. Well, probably would have liked to be on the other side of the yeah. six. But, but he'll just put oh. this like three rails. Long seven, still a textbook. He doesn't seem happy with it. No. It was not yeah, a I, I happy probably, chalk set down. He probably wanted to miss the nine and come back off one more rail. Get a little bit closer to that seven, but. Makes it work. Yeah, people don't really describe the pockets here at Diamonds as being tight in any way. Mm -hmm. They're pretty... Um, yeah. There it is. Break and run. Explosions, fire, lightning, lightning smoke, smoke, dust storms, break and run. You just edit every anything, any badass weather element you can think of. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I couldn't find a tsunami or a a hurricane though or hey, it was, tornado it's still a young channel you yeah. can get there yeah. <laughs> next video it's the break and run graphic might just get more and more yeah. it's ridiculous it's just as every, the channel grows every natural disaster known to man made a ball tough cut on the one that's all he needs is one though Oh, all he needs is one. That snuck up. I didn't even see that. Yeah, it's because he got a break and run. That's right. And you were focused on the graphic. I was distracted by the graphic. Yeah. So, you know, right here, you know, maybe any other game he might try to play some crazy safety, but I think he just goes for this. You know, he only needs one. Well, it's tough. I mean, I think he, I think he's going to go for it too just because the cut is there. Yeah, nice. Boom. Game over. What a match. Great match. Holy C Toledo. That was fun. Well, thanks for doing this with me, Cody. My pleasure. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And catch you next time.